Hello and yes, look at this marvel. The world of a thousand cubes. And I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So just start Blender if you haven't already. And uh, this time you will need uh, the cube. Hang on, fraps, okay? Okay, done. Uh, you'll need the cube, but not for now, okay? So just press M and 2. This will move it to the second layer. You can either click this, you know, everything's gone away by the cube, but never mind, just get back to the first layer, and this is by pressing 1, or clicking here, okay? Different layers, blah blah, etc, stuff like that, anyway. We're just going to top view by pressing 7 on the, on the numpad, and add the new plane. Space, you know, move the mouse over add, mesh, and click on plane. That's nice. Okay, so just, you know, scale it up a bit. And, you know, subdivide it. Again, and again. And what's that? Again, yeah. And again. And again. And scale it up. Of course, uh, if, if your computer crashes, uh, <laughs> that's, that's not, not nice, okay? So, go into the second layer and move the cube back to the first one. Okay, so uh, you might be asking, uh, what is so great about this plane and this cube? Well, uh, you'll see, but it'll probably just crash, so not that nice. So just scale the cube down a bit. Okay, that's nice. A little cube. And go into the plane, okay? So, you notice there are many vertices. Many. Okay? A lot. As in, whoa, that's a lot. And no time to waste. Press F9. Or go into editing here. And add a modifier. Say wave. Oh, oops. Wave, not UV project. Wave. And you can animate Alt A, but you notice know, it's kind of on a frenzy, okay? So just set the speed to 0 0.08 No, I think 0 0.08 is better like this, okay? No, mess with the settings height, not so much and it's Aladdin's uh, carpet, you know, the flying carpet thing, never mind just set smooth and look at that, a very smooth plane. Of course, you won't see it once you render, but it's funny, okay? Uh, okay, so go to the first frame. No, oh, this is the first frame, actually. And uh, right-click the cube, like this. Have the cube selected. And then shift, right-click on the plane, okay? The plane has to be the last uh, object selected. And now press Control p to parent it. Make parent, okay. So essentially, uh, by choosing a parent, when you move the parent, the child just moves with it. But there are many other things to it, okay? So with the plane selected, go into F7 twice. Actually, once. I just got used to saying twice. And click duplicate. Uh, warning, this is the part where uh, you'll just have a crash, most likely. Oh well, for me it didn't crash, okay, so that's nice, but that's low frame rate, so I think I'm gonna have to do something about it. Yep, 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 okay, that's good enough, blunt. And, you know, just scale your cube again to fit. And a uh, little word of warning, when you want to apply material, Go to the cube for this, okay? Not the plane. The plane will not be rendered. Only the cube will be. So, add a new material and stuff, you know. I added blue. Blue, not bloom. Okay, so that's noise. That's an array. Let's see it in action. Oh, great. It's like being on the Borg world, I think. The bogs don't have a world, do they? Never mind. 
So, you know, just go with the settings. Over sampling shadows. No, I don't need shadows, no ray tracing. I need bloom, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm mad about bloom, I know. Glow, whatever. And this is very nice. You know, I expect virtual reality to be just like this, okay? This nice. So, um, let's see how... Oh, I've got enough time. Uh, you, you want to add mist, say. This is a bonus, okay? So click on mist once you select the camera and go into the camera materials. Called world buttons. So mist. And let's go into editing F9. With the camera, okay? In here. And click on mist. This will show the mist depth and whatever. Okay, so go to start and move the slider a bit. And you notice a point. That's where the fog, the mist, will start to show, okay? So we want it kind of bit here. And this thing called depth. And it's shortened DI. Uh, this is where it'll end. So yeah, you have a segment now, okay? So that's nice. Very good. And let's go with the color. Let's refresh. And you have the dark side of the cubes. That's nice. I think I'm gonna go with it. Never mind. You just render. I close. I press F2 and goodbye.